AMC Entertainment's downtrend persists, despite our findings from a sample of 8,658 retail investors revealing that those holding over 90% of the company's shares are consistently buying more shares rather than selling. In today's video, we have a lot of stuff to cover, and over on Twitter, as well as Reddit, as well as Discord, and plenty of other spots, I see retail investors continuing to pick up more and more AMC shares, yet we are seeing an absolute bloodbath. So without further ado, we are going to talk about it. We have a lot of stuff to cover. All I ask you guys to do is, of course, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below to engage the algorithm that indeed does push this video out to more apes like you guys to potentially get more traction and more purchase orders in AMC, as well as just eyes on the stock in general. Again, nothing I say is financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. Let's get into it. AMC is currently trading at $3.67, down 8.48% on the day, yet there is barely any shares available to borrow against the stock, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and over 90% hold the float and continue to buy. So how is this happening? Obviously manipulation, obviously fake shares, but when are we going to take off? When is that point the point, right? If we take a look at what we have previously been tracking with AMC, this is the similarity and where we kind of veered off from there. Previously, I talked about how AMC after $4 could have a fast flash down about a day or two later, 365, and that was my outlook and that was my potential bottom. Yet we got accumulation instead of a flash down and then another breakdown today touching at 365 level, which is not something I expected or anticipated. If we take a look at what we have previously been tracking with AMC, you will see that it found a low and then a low AMC, low and then a low, very similarly. And this was after a large sell off, of course. Both of these had the double peak, but we're not worrying about that or how it looks. We're worrying about the lows, counting the lows. So we had two lows back here, and then another low test, which we see right here, and then another one, which happened a little bit later. And then finally, the last low before ripping and getting the buy button taken away, which we have just hit around January 16th to the 18th. And from there, right, you saw this little bump up, which we did see, and then that moon higher. None of us expected this accumulation to sell off even further, but that is what we are getting right now. As of right now, the only thing to evaluate is how everything else is doing and when this is going to take off. Also, another thing to note is that it is in this falling wedge right here, and there is not a lot of room before this wedge is completed, right? Before the wedge meets the point of the triangle, right? Which would be right around $3.35. At that point, is it going to break out? Is it going to fly? Is it going to fly sooner? As of right now, it could barcode sideways based on the chart. However, we do have some things to look at. First thing I want to cover is, of course, just some numbers. Calls were getting slaughtered, basically none compared to 16,000 puts expiring in the money. So you're seeing more gamma ramping to the downside. And then 55,000 calls expiring out of the money going to market makers. Next week is pretty decent on the options chain. A lot of calls as well as puts being bet at least a decent amount but we're really watching March 15th options chain. That options chain is loaded and that is when the Fed is either going to cut rates, pause or raise rates, right? Short exempts still kind of high around 112,000 or tax numbers dropped a bit, 11.2% short interest. Yet in two days, I think that number will drastically increase based off of the price action that we are seeing, but we are sitting at 28 0.05 million shares shorted on AMC. And here are the borrowed shares. Okay, Sanko Tracker isn't reporting them correctly, but this is where we can see them. We've seen them drop from 400,000 down to 15,000 today, earlier today. And that number probably got wiped out. And then, of course, they probably came up with brand new shares after that. But you can see that there aren't any real shares to actually move the price downward, especially with the volume that we're seeing. Also, another bank just purchased AMC, Bank of New York Mellon. Surely they will lend them out once. Once the fee gets higher for lending, but also it could be perfect timing for a squeeze, right? We have been seeing more and more institutions and funds purchase. Now, Friday, GameStop looked really good. It broke higher, and then today it got absolutely slaughtered with AMC down 6.38%. Now, the good thing about this is the market's down, Tesla's down, you know, crypto slightly down. Everything is down, right? What we're looking at with GameStop right now, there are a few different outlooks. So we could be playing this inverse cycle before the January run up and GameStop as of right now over the next week could have the largest sell off that we have ever seen coming down to fill a gap around $4.50, $3.50, very, very low gap, right? We'll, we'll evaluate how close those numbers are if we start to sell off. And then you also have these cycles. 
Okay, as of right now, the cycle that looks uh, most prominent is this yellow one, chop trading sideways for the rest of the cycle before making a new low, which would chop trade into this channel and then come and make a new low towards the end of the wedge and it would put GameStop around 10 bucks a share. We also have a couple other ones that sort of match up to what GameStop is doing. These are just the cycles that GameStop has constantly, constantly played out. As of right now, you do have a slight chance still at hitting a double peak, breaking out of the macro trend line. And that of course would happen if AMC is gonna squeeze and everything else does overall pretty good, which as of right now, we're just going to evaluate that going forward. And we do have a lot of stuff to cover that will affect the overall market as well as these plays. GameStop also losing on the options chain. 4,000 puts expiring in the money compared to basically no calls. And then more premium going to market makers. Options chain is actually very, very low for the 15th. It's more so loaded for 19. So we're watching that date. Short exempts also risen on GameStop during that pop. So you can see here that they didn't want this thing to go higher. They don't want the algorithms to move it higher. Basically, AMC and GameStop are on algorithms and the higher that the algorithms want to push them, the more buying pressure that there is, the more they route to dark pools and then the more fake shares they drop, the more short exempts they drop to match the algorithm and hold this thing down. Now, the chair of the Federal Reserve has now publicly acknowledged that the United States is walking on glass regarding its debt situation. What is he talking about? This is sort of what he's talking about. Under current fiscal policies, the debt to GDP ratio in the U.S. is projected to hit 200% within 20 years. Prior to 2020, debt to GDP in the U.S. was 100% and prior to 08, it was 60%. Current estimates show the U.S. hitting 50 trillion total debt by 2033, which means that the U.S. will add $218 million in debt every hour until 2033. Just imagine what would happen if the Fed, in fact, doesn't achieve a soft landing. Powell says this is unsustainable. This is what he's talking about. He also says that it's unlikely the Fed will have confidence to cut rates in March, which will affect a few different plays. But will it affect the overall market? The SPY is still trading at 492.96, down 0.28% on the day, made a perfect bounce off of this ascending support trend line that it recently broke above. And overall, the SPY is looking beautiful. It had more volume on this decrease, which is something that we do have to watch. The SPY could get rejected here and break back below into this channel, coming down to 480. 275 is it likely not as of right now but keep it on a watch for that $500 price target as well so the targets you're sitting between are around 48275 <clears throat> and then that $500 price target. However, we are understanding that the Fed is probably not going to cut rates. It's being priced in and the SPY is still climbing, which is a good thing to see. Now, as our markets are pushing, China's are not. China CSRC vows to punish those behind stock manipulation, which is pretty good to hear. But also, China's stock market just lost $1 trillion in value over the past 13 trading days. Everything got halted. And overall, China is just collapsing following the whole Evergrande situation. And they are... In in war. Now, the trading challenge as of right now, I want to talk about Disney because we are still in the Disney play, currently up about a percent on that. And I actually entered calls in my personal portfolio, which you could see my trades in Discord as soon as I take them. I see Disney, it broke below a crucial uh, resistance level, $95.30, $95.35, right? Now, it could flash down to $92.96 or right around that range before moving higher. But I think Disney has a good shot at testing $100 upon earnings, which is on February 7th. So I'm YOLOing into calls very risky and we are still in in the trading challenge with a stop loss so just keep an eye on disney i also will be throwing a stock out there for the members only tonight that i will be investing in my long-term portfolio now bitcoin may be entering its bull run the fed may not be cutting rates the spy is still climbing when the spy climbs a lot of other tickers do extremely well however if the spy unexpectedly takes a nosedive other tickers can also do well right there is a short squeeze on both sides of things whether the market is doing extremely well or whether it's crashing when the spy crashed in 08 Volkswagen squoze. It had the largest short squeeze that we have seen. Bitcoin moving higher anticipates that the market is going to move higher. It doesn't mean that it will, but it does anticipate that. And Bitcoin has extreme price targets coming very, very soon to 500K to a million dollars or even 200K. Even still, those price targets are absolutely insane. But we know what happens coming into the halving, which is happening very, very soon. Bitcoin overall looking extremely well, and it already broke into a new trading range. This isn't a rejection spot. Bitcoin already broke above and confirmed that it is sitting in this new trading range. Overall, if you're not accumulating Bitcoin here, what are you doing? Finally, last touch on crypto, rumors of Apple entering in Bitcoin and crypto space. So buy the rumor, sell the news type of deal could be here. Apple broke above a fib level. It is doing somewhat well. Also, Tesla breaking lower 
181.44 down 3.44 percent on the day i think tesla is going to have a bearish trend at least coming into march and if the fed pauses and or raises rates the fed's down or tesla's downtrend might just continue until we see $150 or so on Tesla, and then we get that first rate cut. So just keep an eye on that. Last sprinkle on top, Snapchat to lay off 10% of all its employees. Overall, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Are you buying more AMC? Drop an ape in the comments down below if you are buying more AMC. Let me know if you are joining the trading challenge and what you want me to do to kick this thing off even further. Do you want me to add money into the trading challenge so we can scale it a lot faster? Are you following my trades on Frenetically? No one is doing this on YouTube. As soon as I enter a trade, it sends you an alert and you can press copy and your broker will execute it. Nobody is doing this. Also guys, get in the Discord if you wanna see my trades, talk stocks with me and the most amazing people all day long, as well as crypto. Level up your trading journey. It's a coffee a month. The link is right under the video and we have options trading alerts in there. Finally, if you want up to 15 free stocks, each valued up to two grand per stock, 8.1% APY on your uninvested cash, access to trading options, shorting, going long as a retail trader, viewing other exchanges so you can see how yours will potentially open, viewing crypto, a customizable earnings calendar and a ton of other benefits. Use my link, sign up for Moomoo Moo and make a deposit. Honestly, there's no reason not to have a bunch of brokers. I have a ton of different ones and it's just free money. That is it guys. Those links are under the video. I love you all. Lottery socks out.